this is such a key principle for us to master as business people. And that is the idea of moving from entrepreneurial to purposeful in our business. You could, we call it E to P. You could say E also stands for easy. The things that come natural to us, the things that, that are intuitive for us to do, to purposeful in our business activities. So I want to illustrate what happens when we fail to behave in a purposeful way. So you're the entrepreneur, right? So you start over here and you're, you're on fire for the Lord when it comes to your business. I'm going to start and I'm going to just crush my goals. And so we grow, 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 grow. And you're doing this through effort, right? You're growing through effort, through hustle, through sweat equity, through elbow grease, just like the good old fashioned American dream. And you reach your first ceiling of achievement. What happens there? Well, first, disappointment sets in. Disappointment's the first, the first emotion that we feel when we hit a ceiling of achievement. Because I'm like, gosh, I'm working as much as I can work, and I'm doing all I can do, and I just can't seem to break through. And so what naturally happens, because all of a sudden, if you're a salesperson, and when you're doing this, you're prioritizing lead generation. Well, the problem becomes when you run out of time, and now I've got to service the business that I've created, but I don't have a system for that. And so I run out of time, my spouse, my kids are missing me. All of a sudden, I no longer make the time to lead generate because I'm trying to run this business that I've created. And our business naturally falls a little bit. That's why so many people's businesses go in cycles, right? So we'll call this point number two, and that's gonna be resignation. We're going to resign the, to the fact that we just can't do it all. I just can't handle enough. I can't make this training. I can't make this coaching. I can't do more. I can't lead generate because I'm just too busy. Okay. From that, a lot of people, when, when, there's, when there's not structure in your life, anything makes sense, meaning any silver bullet, any shiny object, a new broker, a new firm, a new opportunity, a new marketing plan, a new this, a new that, anything makes sense. We're seeking greener pastures. And so we move over here to point three, greener pastures. Well, between the point of resigning to the fact that you can't do anything and seeking green pastures, now there's just another distraction for your business. And then what happens? We get to greener pastures, we get fired up again, we adopt a new plan, and we just hit the same cycle again and again and again. And that is the life of so many salespeople. So many real estate agents live their whole life right here. And they never are able to break through. Now let's talk about the purposeful approach. You're gonna do the same thing. You're starting off right here. When you hit this natural ceiling of achievement, here's what you're gonna find. Instead of working more, you're gonna focus on your 20%. The most impactful activities that you can find. And then you're going to embrace models. You can embrace models. Models is, this is what's worked for somebody in my industry before, and I'm going to copy that model, and I'm gonna apply that model to my business so I've got a standard. And then once you start working on these models, next comes systems. I'm going to apply systems in my business that are gonna help me be more efficient. See, most of us as entrepreneurs, business owners, realtors, when we get here, we're gonna focus like crazy. And then we're gonna read the millionaire real estate agent. This, that might be the MREA right here for you. We're gonna read the millionaire real estate agent. And we know the models, but we still don't break through because we don't apply the systems in our business to save us time, to make us more efficient. Systems might be leverage, your TC, your OP, the platform like we have at Libyan or in our expansion platform, or you may have in your company to allow you to break through. Systems make you efficient, but if you don't apply them, most people just want a person. You need a system, 
You want a person to relieve the pain. If you hire a person first, you'd go right back through this cycle over here. But if you focus on what matters most, you apply models and you seek out models to help you with that, and then you bring in systems to make you more efficient, this crazy thing happens. You break through and you become a purposeful business owner, being purposeful with your time, controlling your time and having models and systems that work for you and allow you to break through. See, it's not an act of doing more, working harder, trying harder. That doesn't sound fun to anybody. Running a smart business is a purposeful business and there are tools available to all us help us do that. I hope this helps. This is from a class that my good friend Abe Shreve taught from MAPS Business Coaching. I taught it yesterday to some business owners I wanted to share it with you. Go get them.